Hello everyone and welcome to Captain's Video Blog. We are Saturday, uh, June the 18th, 2016. Uh, actually, we're Sunday morning. It's um, 6:40, I think. Yeah. So um, I'm sick. I'm I'm really sick. Like, uh, <laughs> I haven't tried to speak once since um, well, early in the evening yesterday. So uh, now I I feel you know my throat. <laughs> um, so yeah, sometimes I'm like oh, I'm sick. I I feel it, but it doesn't feel too bad. Um, thing is, uh, yesterday morning, uh, so Saturday morning, I woke up not feeling great at all. Like. Uh, I was actually feeling really, really, really bad. Like, oh boy, that that's that's an old feeling that I don't like. Like when I'm sick, there's a, a lot of things, you know, when it's established that I'm sick. There are a lot of 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 signs that show me that maybe I should have uh, noticed that earlier. Like, um, my breath has this weird feeling. feeling not that I can uh, smell it, but you know, there's this feeling of <laughs> being sick. So there's that. Um, <coughs> what, what, really, what is there to add to that? Um, I don't even know. Like today, I, I should be writing my cover letter. Uh, I tried to find it. Turns out, I cannot find it, <laughs> and um, that's a bit frustrating, to be quite honest. Um, <laughs> and uh, there is also this thing that I must send to my professor because apparently it's going to be part of uh, of uh, a paper that he's gonna present in October or November, I think, about how. Uh, you know, the science of making maps is involved in geometrics, which is a lot, you know, like, besides uh, pure pure computer science, there are maps everywhere, uh, but I, I, you know, there's, there, he said, what units do you feel like you've actually learned uh, ma to make maps? And I was like, oh, there are quite a lot. And uh, right now I realize maybe not that much. Like I think that one or two could go in the category. I've used maps, you know, I've created maps uh, towards my goal, but that wasn't the, the the thing it was teaching me to do. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have to fix that because apparently if I'm if I don't send that back by. Well, by tonight, I, I think I'm gonna be off the the mailing list, which is going to be awkward when I'm going to when I'm being added to it in September. <laughs> uh, so anyway, like um, I noticed something. Um, I'm, it started last season actually. Well, it's Crunchyroll's uh, involvement in anime. Now they're not just you know, a broadcaster, they're actually producers, which is something that should be great for for wes Western people when it comes to anime, because uh, too often the the Japanese uh, from the West, you know, from being accused on on Western forums and you know, uh, pretty much everywhere that is that uh, you talk about anime, uh, where you talk about anime and it's not in Japanese um, pretty much everywhere there's this criticizing this criticism of uh, the industry that makes too much more way or stuff stuff like that that doesn't really af appeal to uh, your uh, average Western person um, and I'm saying that I'm saying even those who might be of Asian descent because they I mean at, at one point the assimilation uh, is done, uh, which is something really funny when you think about the, the Hungarians who are like, 
who are the main people who are saying, yeah, uh, they are Muslims, they are Arab, they will never, never manage to adapt into European values. Like, how do you know that? I mean, sure, it will take some time, but you Hungarians, you say that your people, the Magyar, descend from the Huns. The Huns were people from Asia. They're not Christians. I mean, fuck, if they're animist or shaman or uh, believe in some kind of shamanic god, that's going to be it. Uh, but the Huns definitely were not, you know, uh, Christians. And yet, you're a country in the middle of Europe. And you're not really in, uh, integrated either because one of the names is, uh, uh, you know, um, given pretty often to to uh, Hungarian people of uh, of German descent is literally the word for German. You're saying he's a German. I mean, it happens in 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 Italian, in in Czech, in Slovak, in a lot of Slavic languages. But really, I mean, like you could do an effort. Uh, also, you're claiming, you know, uh, the purity of of the Magyar, like you are the main ethni ethnicity, which means that you didn't mingle a lot with the Europeans. Therefore, uh, the only way you <laughs> integrated into Europe was because the the sun, you know, uh, the lack of sun uh, of melanin made your skin like every person in Europe and uh, you were Christianized and you traded with all other European countries which is something that is made you know besides the, the skin tone everything is made really easy by not having borders so, so yeah anyway I, I get sidetracked so yeah um, if Crunchyroll entering uh, anime uh, production committees could be the beginning of more licensing companies actually giving money directly to the the making of anime instead of saying yeah when we broadcast anime and we make you pay some of that money goes to uh, to Japan to the production committee instead of you know we're we are we are people who are paying for that so uh, we I guess we have some kind of input I was saying that because I was watching um, Luluko, Space Patroller Luluko, and uh, holy shit triggered those crumb a lot <coughs> in 8 minutes, like, in the latest episode I had so much stuff that I had to check the time, um, and it was around 4 minutes and 45 seconds, and I was like, there's no way only 5 minutes uh, have gone past, uh, this is crazy. Uh, another thing that I don't understand, and I mean, I'm thinking about it now because it's almost a year since it began, is uh, cl Classroom Crisis, uh, something that uh, a lot of people dropped last uh, last summer, as I kept on, uh, kept on watching because, I mean, uh, I was hooked with the, the premise and uh, the, the theme song, and at one point they introduced uh, uh, you know, a twist, which is that the character who has no memories of her past uh, actually is uh, the boss, the son of the boss, uh, the daughter of the boss, which explains why the guy who arrived when saying that he's the son of the boss has a girl name, because he assumed that identity 10 years ago or something. But uh, apparently the manga, <laughs> uh, that's an adaptation of the, the anime, and the light novel that's an adaptation of the anime, and the anime itself never, uh, you know, resolved that point. Like, it's something that's le left bl blatantly open at the end of the series, when there's a point where there's, you know, uh, a meeting of the board of that, uh, you know, conglomerate on Mars, and you're like, yeah, they're, they're gonna reveal that the dude that they've groomed to be the next boss isn't actually 
the the boss but actually the the descendant of the ninja family that was supposed to help the girl who is actually going to be the boss if oh, everything is revealed no 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 it doesn't happen like that it, it just so happens that the dude arrives and says haha you are fucked and they are fucked and in the last episode you feel like he's going to say it right he's going to say that he's actually just a ninja and that uh, the girl, she is uh, th the uh, pretty much their boss, but no, they never, they never say it. And I'm like, what, what the fuck? Why do you introduce that kind of, you know, plot point, important plot point, and you never do anything with it, you know, and you know, you just use it to justify flashbacks as world building, and that's. Lazy story writing, story storytelling. Um, yeah. In other news, um, so <laughs> Hungary, strangely enough, are the ones who are the closest to be qualified in a group counting such powerhouses of uh, European football as, uh, you know, Portugal and uh, Austria <laughs> and Iceland are second because they drew twice. Uh, nicely done and, and they scored each time so yeah really nicely done uh, c c colossal disappointment uh, the the Portugal Austria match nil nil draw fucking magnificent uh, Ronaldo missing the penalty wow uh, but yeah the Hungary Iceland match was really cool to see until Hungary uh, drew because after that kickball and then there was also Belgium versus uh, Ireland at 3-0 uh, and I decided to switch to to uh, cycling because 3-0 at 20 minutes before the end what's what's the point even um, but one game that was uh, fairly lopsided that I watched to the end was Chile versus Mexico 7-0 win for Chile that's probably why I kept watching because holy shit one point they put the pedal to the middle and five goals in the second half good good god Chile you're scary uh, anyway thanks for watching see you tomorrow bye bye I won't be talking about probably won't be talking about uh, such stuff as Game of Thrones or or uh, Money in the bank because I I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna film that before the the whole thing. But I'm so. Tired.